TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. And all around the world. Oh, wait. No, we're not all around the world today. I don't think so. All right. If you do miss a live and you want to catch up, catch up with the old lives or be ready for the next live, go to twitch.com and type in the username down there. You see it at the bottom of the screen. Don't forget, we do got Patreon and we got merch. Let's get into this, man. This is Bald and Bankrupt, offered business on England's worst street. What do you mean, business? Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. True. <laughs> Let's get into it, man. Hey, I'm unprepared. There we go. Behind me is Plymouth Sound, from where in 1620, a group of pilgrims set off across the Atlantic in search of a new life. Well, some 30 years ago, I did the same thing, heading abroad in search of my own adventures. But now I'm back in my homeland to see how the nation- the 30 years? How old are you? How old is uh, Bald and Bankrupt? It's changed in my absence. Join me as together we explore a very foggy, Albion. In the mid-1990s, I packed my bags and set off on my travels around the world, leaving behind a United Kingdom that under a newly elected young leader seemed to be swaggering confidently into the future. Tony Blair promised the people prosperity and jobs after years of Tory stagnation. However, what happened to the hopes and dreams everyone had for their nation back then? What happened to New Labour's promise that things could only get better? I returned to the country of my birth to see for myself. <laughs> well, it really does deserve its name Foggy Albion in this miserable damp weather that this nation is famed for. But let's see how life is progressing for people who don't live in the Roman city of Londinium. Judging by what I've seen here in Plymouth, things ain't going too well. It's looking tough. It's getting better. It's getting better? Yeah. You sound very positive about your city. Yes. Okay. I mean, because without offending you, but when I look around, I imagine Plymouth was much nicer in the past than it is now. I don't think it was, actually. Okay. But I mean, I see shops boarded <laughs> up. I see people yeah. sleeping homeless. <laughs> hey, the cutscene was crazy. He said, I don't think it was, actually. And then show this, this is tough. All right, continue. I imagine in the 70s, maybe in the 80s, that kind of thing didn't exist. Or maybe I'm wrong. I think you're wrong. I think it existed, but it was uh, hidden. Now, not tomorrow, but now. Because my friend, one day, one day, my friend, one day your breath will leave your body. I'm, I'm a little bit old, so what is this called? Like what you're doing? Cosplay. Is it cosplay, got Wait, you. Yeah. And who are you with Wait, the horn? Whoa, whoa. How many days ago was this? Four days ago? Whose video did we watch and this was in there already? I'm just an original character. Okay. So I, I came up with it last night. So You're the most unique one here. Yeah. And why have you got a packet of flipping Neurofen? What were you doing last night? What is up with you? I don't know. I just got given these because my door hurts. Well, look at what's become of Britain. This is Union Street, pretty much in the centre of Plymouth. Look at it. Pound shop, mini market. The shops that he have here just tell you everything about the state of the economy. Furniture reuse project. Yes. How are you doing, mate? How you right? are you? Hey, nice one, mate. Look after you. yourself. Thank you. Thank you, very much. Thank you, mate. And then here, look at this. Established in 1863, this lovely old building. Burn. And now totally derelict. You can't Burn. help. There's even homeless people here. Look, centre of a British city, a major British city. Homeless people just sleeping rough. You can't help but think when you see things like this, that Britain's glory days, Britain's best days are so long gone and so far behind us. 
and the truth is I can't see how we ever get them back. Look at the state of this place and look at this. The Great Western Hotel, a beautiful old building built probably in Victorian oh, times. Look at it. We used to build things like this, magnificent buildings. And look at the squalor and what it's been reduced to. Look, it's even got up here a mosaic, the Spanish Armada leaving Spain to come be defeated by the British. Look at it, this place, the amount of money spent on it. And now just destroyed and well, probably full of homeless people and drug users. What a sad, sad state of affairs for this once great nation. Why are you here in Plymouth? Um, oh, I came here like over 10 years ago. Oh, why? So I wanted to go. Oh, I just ended up in Plymouth. So I is just, it getting better or worse? I never worse? wanted to stay here. No, I'm not going to stay here. I came out the bus. You've been here 10 years. You are. We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us. You are staying here. You're never it's going anywhere. I go. Where are you going to go to? Germany. Back. Is it? Because the country is done. I mean, you can't see a doctor, you can't see a dentist, you can't That's get a flat. That's interesting. You, you know what I mean? Like the basic yep. stuff I'm not talking about, like... So are you saying Plymouth's getting worse or Britain's getting worse? Or what's your opinion? Yeah, yeah, the whole UK. I mean, unless you've got like lots of money and uh, big pockets, I think you can compensate somehow, like, but um, lots of things like... Lots of things have changed. I mean, it wasn't that bad 10 years ago, so people struggling a lot, so... I'm not gonna lie, it does look bleak out here. Wait, why is there stuff that we have seen? Oh, maybe bald and bankrupt? No, 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 not bald and bankrupt. Uh, Backpacker Ben's video? Well, look at this. Just one more example of what's happened to well, this town and probably what we're gonna see in many towns as we take our tour across the country. The old Phoenix pub, which was probably at one stage Bit of an institution. Brits used to love coming to the pub after work, working down the docks, or here in Plymouth maybe, on the naval ships. Come, meet the lads, have a pint before going home for their dinner. But now, this part of the community is just, well, destroyed. Look at it, look at the Phoenix now. This one definitely isn't gonna rise from the flames. Yes, it's a, it's a wrap. The famous Phoenix pub. Yes. What happened to it? I don't know, it's, I think it's been derelict for quite a few years. Have you ever had a drink in the Phoenix? No, I no? haven't. No, Sorry, I, no, I, I, I had the impression... It was Wait, so that's a common, really used word in the UK? Derelict? I've never... Literally, I'm, 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 you might think I'm lying. I never heard nobody in America use that. Not on TV, not nothing. Quite rough. <laughs> <laughs> it looks it, doesn't it? There's so much boarded up and destroyed around yeah, here. It's such a pity. Yeah. You've got these beautiful buildings in Plymouth. Yeah. And so many yeah. of them are destroyed. Well, that was Plymouth. Let's now go to the railway station, buy a ticket, and see what the rest of the country has to offer. That's a cool little wall. Hopefully, a little bit more than this place. Welcome to Plymouth Station. Well, look at all the places we can go to here from Plymouth. We can go to Gunnis Lake, sounds lovely. Penzance, London Paddington, but no, we're going to a place called Western Supermare. Let's go and buy a ticket. Western Supermare, okay. Western Supermare, one way. And that's $50. Off peak, is it? £50.10. Yeah. Flipping heck. What's an on peak? I'm not spending 50 quid to get to Western Supermares. <laughs> <laughs> he left. <laughs> I thought he was really. You rich. Rip off. If only I knew someone here in the city that could give me a lift. Oh. Flipping heck. Get in, mate, I'm coming. Backpacker Ben in his home city of Plymouth. All right, that was scripted. <laughs> Start the journey. Hey, welcome to Plymouth. Cheers, mate. It's shit, let's get out of here. <laughs> West Super Mare. Oh my God, Ben, where have you brought me? Welcome to Western Super Mare. Oh, Western. Oh, hello. Oh, so hello, sorry. Young that's <laughs> okay. <laughs> hello. <laughs> A friendly welcome to your city. <laughs> Reiki. Let's hope everyone's as friendly as that little Yorkshire Terrier. We're here 
in Western Supermare. Benjamin, why have we come here? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Are they dressed the same? Ben and, um, but back record, I'm, I'm talking, all right. I'd just be noticing stuff. I think they shoes, maybe that's the style. Well, welcome to Western Supermare, which was developed in the Victorian era as a holiday resort for workers to come from the nearby city of Bristol to come and enjoy their weekends or their summer holidays. It Fall from Glory was crazy because this is derelict. <laughs> it was once one of Britain's premier resorts. Derelict. Sports, however, like some other places we've seen, I think it's gone a little bit downhill. I thought he was about to say derelict. <laughs> You're right, mate. How are you doing? Are you a local? I am indeed. What, from old Western Supermare? Oh, Western Supermare, yeah. How can yeah, I help you today? Nice to uh, meet you, mate. What do you reckon to your town then? <laughs> Well, it's, it's, um, it's certainly gone downhill over the last 10 years, that's for sure. Absolutely. Did you want me to show you a little spot? It's just, just here. Oh, yeah, sure. Be, uh... Let's have a look at a little spot. You're hyper friendly, that's two for two. With our new Western friend. Right, with a snazzy top on. Oh my God. This top is I don't snazzy. Think you can go in there for your, um, your baby back ribs and your burgers. Yeah, I don't know if I would trust any food from this place. <laughs> Dirty fries, yeah, I bet they're bloody filthy. <laughs> So yeah. it's the second largest resort on the west coast. Uh, Does he know seven. this guy? Is he like a regular in the crew or? Blackpool. Or this is wow. a real so, random. Yeah, second only to Blackpool. And just like Blackpool, it's got lots of little guest houses with funny names. Here you've got the Corbier. That must mean horse or something in some language. Over there you've got the Bella Vista, which means nice view. I mean, yeah, I suppose it's kind of a nice view. Oh my God, look at it though, it does look run down. I mean, you can see that once this would have been a nice crescent. And now it's just all guest houses. And I doubt the people staying in these guest houses are British tourists. I imagine they're a different section of society. Why is I it called Western again. Super? Oh, okay, so it's a bit of a mix of Old Saxon okay. and Latin. Wait, is so this guy Western, right? Like, yep. would have been pronounced Weston, which West means on. place to the west. Place to the west. Super was from the Latin for above or superimpose. Oh, and genius! There, as yep. in mare, would have been by the sea. sea. Place above the sea. Joe is the most intelligent, knowledgeable person we've ever bumped into in our travels. Look, he's even quoting Saxon and Latin <laughs> words. Let's go into the sentence and see what it's like in Western Super Mare. What's it like? Hello, sir. Are you a local? Yes. How long have you lived here? All your life? Yes. Have you ever been tempted to move away or? No. no? What do you like about Western Super Mare? I don't like anything about it, but there we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't like anything about it. Well, it's just a place. What can you say? Nothing like Brits for giving it the real, the real lowdown on their town. What's happened to this town? Oh, it's a fucking shithole. <laughs> it's a fucking shithole. <laughs> Fair play. Um, well, it's, it's hard to disagree on this. So that's just the style in the UK, because she got her, her pants like that too. It's a fucking shithole. Like black pants with the white socks on top and then the shoe. Backpacker Ben got it and Ball got it. <laughs> Fair play. Um, well, it's, it's hard to disagree on this street. I mean, it's not the nicest street. Look at it. You can see, though, that before there was money invested here. Look at these old buildings. But now it's just, I don't know. What's happened? It's, it's fallen into a right state of disrepair. Can you see the uh, the door being used to block the window up there? Yeah, there's a door. There's two doors to block windows. It's boarded up, but you can see the little architectural details. Up there it says Somerset House. That's because we're down by Somerset in the, in the west coast. But um, oh, there was money here before. People built things properly in Britain in Lloyd's the past. Bank. And now we just let these old buildings that in other countries. You think in Czech Republic, in Prague, they'd let it get like this. No, they wouldn't. They'd keep it restored. But here in Britain, we don't give a shit about our architectural history. And so that's why and Britain beautiful has old great buildings architect. like this that we once built by craftsmen with their hands, stonemasons, nowadays, Looks like this, absolutely. This looks like an average building though, I'm not even gonna lie. 
Ben, Western super nightmare. It is indeed. Wow, crikey. It it's, is um, it's a little bit run down. This is Britain. This is the first world country. We are, I think, the sixth biggest economy in the world, or fifth or seventh, something like that. But when you look around here, where is the trickle down effect? Where is that money generated in London, in a city, coming down? And being spread to towns like this. It's, it's not, it's staying in London. What's happening? Hello, mate. I just went and chatted to um, one of the homeless oh. fellas here. I used to go to school right. with Tom. Okay. Where are you living? On the street at the moment. On the street? Bloody hell. What's yeah. that like in the winter? I can't imagine. God damn it. Paul, you knew he was living on the street. Why would you even ask that? Bro just came up to you and told you we got a homeless man he wanted to talk. Ah, Lee. Well, it's like the summer, not but in the winter. Nice. This is the second time I've done it. Where do you literally like sleep at night then? Uh, Excuse my ignorance, night, it but. It was underneath there. Right. Um, and then. Shit. Uh, I got up at some point and went round to the back of the Sovereign Centre. So, in this cold, nasty weather, you're literally outside. Mm. Are you looking for a place to live? Yeah, or... I'm trying to, yeah. And what do the government say? What does like, the local social services say? They're still looking. Yeah. There's no sense of urgency from the council for him. He's in good health. Uh, he's a young, he looked younger, just got long hair, male with no children. You're not at the top of the list. No one comes to these British holiday resorts anymore because it's so bloody expensive. I can go to Spain if I want to, get guaranteed sunshine. For what, 100 quid sometimes? Go down to Benidorm? Why would you spend hundreds of pounds coming to places like Western Supermare? And hence, families don't come anymore. And hence, these places, these old hotels built in the 1800s are now just derelict. Look, even the entrances have been concreted over. There's no hope. Bro, completely concreted over, abandoned building. Like, there's a lot of these out here. Nobody's, I guess, like, it don't even makes sense to come out there and try to turn a profit on and open something but because there's no economy there but it's still like that's crazy why don't the council come and make these council flats there like all of these derelict places the council can come make them councils can they not like council flats like, wouldn't that make sense more homes for the homeless or for the in need That anyone's ever going to come here in the future? My God, what a place. Oh uh, man, that looks... Look at this. Britain is such a seafaring nation. John Cabot was actually a slave trader. So I'm surprised that his name still adorns this hotel because, well, many people on the left don't like John Cabot, although he invested much of his money in cities like Bristol, built up the city of Bristol, in fact, John Cabot. And yeah, still you can see his name here. And a picture of a ship and a picture of old John Cabot, an explorer and slave trader. Interesting history down here on the west coast of Britain. Joe? Yes, Bob. Cheers, mate. Absolute uh, pleasure. My pleasure, mate. So pleasure. glad that we bumped in such a an erudite man. Is that the word erudite? I think so. Ben, what do you reckon to a Western as we... I have no clue if that's the word or not. Leave. I mean, I've never heard of the word erudite. I'm guessing it's... Nice. There we go. Me and Ben on the same page. No clue what that word means. I've been referred to us. Is that a nice word? Because Western Superman is definitely not erudite. It's a shit <laughs> Because... I've never heard of the word rudite. I'm guessing it's a nice word. <laughs> Seeing something back here, I was curious what was going on. Been referred to us. Is that a nice word? Because Western Supermare is definitely not rudite. It's a shit <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ben keeping it real as always. Um, right then, we're going to go on to another town now. Somewhere in the Midlands. Some cheeky blinder country. Should we get out of here? Let's go. Let's go. Cheers, Adios, amigos. Look after yourself, mate. Bless you, nice man. to meet you. Bless you. We're out of here. Nice. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, why am I just showing people around the world the worst of Britain? And you're right, we've chosen some places that don't have the best reputation. But, hey, don't shoot the messenger. If you don't like it, do something about it. Speak to your local councillor. 
get your towns tidied up. I mean, look at this place. Flip well, that it. A psycho work. tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. But you- Speaking to the local council, you might get hung up on. Like, I really realize how the state employees treat you because I have to... I had to call like the courthouse for some reason, like two days in a row, and they're rude, bro. And I just had to just play it off because I don't, I don't want no smoke. Just handle what I need handled. <laughs> Do you have a tattoo at a place called Psycho Tattoo? I know I would. Oh my God! <laughs> just spat. Onto Saint Michael's Road. We're lost in Birmingham. Which looks bloody dodgy. Flipping out, look at it. Don't they collect rubbish in this city? <laughs> Original Smirnoff. Okay, well, they've got good taste anyway, but. What? <laughs> oh. This is actually good. Smirnoff ice, but who is drinking it like this? They got about six forty ounces of Smirnoff ice. You're wild. Original Smirnoff. Okay, well, they've got good taste anyway, but I don't know where this hotel is. I think it's in this building behind us. What the fuck? Where are we? Mate, any hotels around here? Huh? Any hotels around here? I don't understand what they mean. Are there <laughs> any hotels around here? I don't know. New. I'm new. Where are you from? Fucking hell. Yeah, I wouldn't have. Honestly, if I didn't know who you was, I would have kept walking to and thought that was weird because, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's cereal out here, and that's how most of the movies start. And I don't want to participate. <laughs> Not even going to lie. Welcome to Birmingham. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what a place. He's new here. He doesn't know if there's any hotels around here. Ben. You booked it. Where's the hotel? I'm trying to find it. Um, let's have a look for it. You locked the car? Fucking right I have. Mate, <laughs> there's an abandoned car. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. We obviously didn't book an expensive place, but I didn't expect that outside the hotel. Perfect. Salam alaikum, sir. Hello. Hello. Yeah, how are you? Very good. How are you? Oh, nice to see you again. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Good, good. Good. For everything here. Yes, everything you will get nice, and you will find a nice view at the back as well. Can I have a look? Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's all yours. Thank you. Oh, he said there's a lovely view at the back of the hotel. Yeah. Well, this is the view at the back of the hotel that Ben's booked us into. He said a lovely view, and look, it's a view of um, a rubbish dump and some squalid houses. Crikey. All right, let's get checked in, see what the room is like. Oh, there you go. All right, then. Thank you, mate. See you in a bit. Ah, hey, hey. Ben, what the fuck have you done? This is the hotel room? I gave you one job. One job. This is the room? This is a fucking shit hole. <laughs> it's filth. Look at the. They got a wavy mirror. Door. Bro, this look like HMP Wentworth. What? What is? Where oh, are they at? Mate. Is it why? It looks like um, when he spent time in that prison. <laughs> I it told does. you. It reminds me of Birobijan Prison. It's just Birobijan Prison was slightly cleaner. Um, oh, you got a view. Oh yeah, look at it. Yeah, look. It's in the window. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, they've cleaned this recently. Cool. I can see. Look at it. Anyway, it's terrible. That's the hotel. I'm sure the there. area, however. He's lovely, just because the hotel's a bit run down. 100% they're not sleeping in that room. It looked like it got something that can crawl from under the bed and bite your skin at night. Doesn't mean the area's not nice. Let's go and have a look on the road around here. See what it's like, shall we? The famous Soho Road, which is why we came here. Apparently it's nice. Let's go. They are in Birmingham. Right. Nice little party area. Lovely. What a sight to be greeted by. Up your neck. Things can only get better, as the new Labour slogan said. Well, 
I mean, I said it might get better, the area, but what are we greeted by? Abandoned shops, yeah, abandoned whatever that is, abandoned whatever that was. Come to Birmingham, Benjamin said. You'll I ain't even gonna lie, I ain't never seen this part of Birmingham. It's looking real rough out here. Love it. The nightlife alone, though. Well, what do you reckon to old Soho Road? It's, um, how to put it delicately. It doesn't feel very British, let's put it that way. Didn't I broke mean, it, ching dong, got the uh, music blaring over here from, I don't know, maybe some... Hello, oh, Isaac. Oh, I got it. You've got some Indian music playing there. I've definitely seen a documentary over here. Somebody got... <laughs> somebody got... Uh, you know what I'm saying? You've got Bank of India over there, Bank of Baroda. You've got Ganesh. Bloody Sri Ganesh exclusives. That Kendrick Lamar? Who is that? Where's your family from originally? Uh, Romania. Yeah. Romania? Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, flipping neck. Okay, which part? Uh, Bucharest. Bucharest. Okay, I've been down in Bucharest. I was in Brasov oh, and places like that. Yeah, what do you think of it here on this road? Do you like it, this area? Yeah. It's nice, but sometimes at night it's dangerous. Dangerous in what way? Like with the, there's drunk people and stuff. Okay. Have you ever been hassled yourselves? No, or? no never. Nah? You've got yourself a little gang going on, you say? Uh, no, we don't have a gang, but we know how to keep us safe. You just tried to label him. <laughs> That's a W response from the kid. You're right. Why have you got a black eye? Uh, uh, Hello. Huh? A man punched me. A man punch you? Yeah. What no. man? Ah, uh, some guy I oh know. He's an idiot. Your boyfriend? No, I wouldn't say that. I'm definitely not. not. You're right. Not really, love you. Man, he ran into domestic violence. Let's talk. You don't know, change when you pop, do you, love? Oh, I might have. Let me have a look in my pocket. Pretty What's it like living around here? Oh, beautiful. Oh, I can imagine. <laughs> you don't do business, do you? Eh? Hey? Do you do business? Do I want business? Nah. But I'll give you a tenner to oh. go and do whatever you want to do with it, but Good man. no Thank business you. today. So that's the business he was offered. She was trying to Bless bro. That is sad. That's tough. Black eye and all. She's still out here. Any business? What's that even mean? <laughs> hey, bald, cut it out. Go and do whatever you want to do with it, but no Thank business you. today. What do you mean business? What's that even mean? Jiggy jiggy. Oh, Good jiggy fun. jiggy. No, I'm okay for jiggy jiggy today. But Thank you for the offer. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you look after yourself, yeah? Good man. Take care. Stay safe, yeah? Well, there you go. I was just asked if I want Jiggy Jiggy on Soho Road. You know what? The hell is Jiggy Jiggy? What is... What? Ben? Ben, conference call. I've just been offered Jiggy Jiggy on the road. Um, really? I think, yes. <laughs> I think <laughs> Ben's got... <laughs> I think Ben's gone to get some Jiggy Jiggy, but I want to get out of here. I'm going to go back to the hotel, pack my bags, and get out. This I has been... I wasn't for sleep there. A little bit too much for me. It's in this is uh, Ben. You, I mean, not Ben. Bald. You knew what was going on when she had that eye color on her. Intimidated, bald, and bankrupt. The town, the street. If you listen to the rest of her story, her origin story, it tells all. That intimidated me. Let's go back to the hotel. Get out of it. This is um, it's a bit shit. It's uh, it's, uh, it's honestly depressing. Hello. Hello, lads. Yeah. Hello, mate. Hello. Are you a bad blabber or something? Am I a what? A blabber. A blabber? What's a blabber? I say a blabber. A vlogger. Yes. I'm a How many of you are in here? Hello, everybody. Hi. Why are you all living in this one room? Oh my God, you're going to be famous now on YouTube. How are you? Where are you all from, locals? Leeds. Leeds? Yeah. What are you doing down here? You know how it goes. Uh, She's down here selling business too? <laughs> Fair enough. Oh my God. What a place. Hello. You got to meet the girls. They're from Leeds. Leeds. Oh, hello. 
Buddy, there was loads of people in there. Oh, how's it going? You know how it goes? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's get out of here. <laughs> they really grabbed their stuff. They gone. Mad place. Oh. I don't know how they felt comfortable with leaving their belongings in the hotel that long anyway. Look, I would have felt like I was going to get, like, I was going to come back and everything was going to be gone. Fuck. What? I think he's chasing after us. This place is nuts, mate. Get me out of here. Well, that was um, our short foray into Birmingham. Unexpectedly interesting. Let's get out of here and um, That's funny. head somewhere else. Fuck. She offered bro some cheeky cheeky. <laughs> some it's boom picky bow wow. Go, 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 go. go. Yeah. Next day. Good morning from Sunderland. Sunderland. Now, nowhere is Britain's industrial decline more evident than here in the northeast of our nation. A region which once built the nation's iron ships on which our wealth and might depended. We're now going to get on a train and head down the coast a little bit to the town of Horden. We're going to see what life is progressing like in post-industrial collapse Britain. Join me. And thank God we're not in Birmingham. What the devil are you handing out, sir? You are a Christian man, mm. and I respect that. There's not enough Christians in the world. Yes. I'm off to Horden today, so I hope that God is protecting me. Have you heard of Horden? Uh, What's it like? Pretty rough. Pretty rough? May God protect me. Pray for me. Thank you, brother. Benjamin. Benjamin, I'll yeah. do it for you. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. There we go. We've got a Christian man. Is, this really, is his name really Benjamin, or did he give Backpacker Ben's name out? He was so worried about me going to Horden that he's going to pray for me. Let's hope it all turns out all right. Where's the railway station? Have you ever been to Horden, mate? Yeah. You ever been to Horden? 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 Yeah. No. Oh, okay. What have you heard about it? Not much. All right, fair enough. I'll find out for myself. Right. Doesn't seem it's empty in there. In that Horden. Derelict. It's a place that people have much to say about. Single to Horden, please. Five pounds seventy. Five pounds seventy, I love it. Have you ever been to Horden? No. Do you ever want to? No. Capital Bunt, a bean with it. Well, we've got our train ticket down to Horden. We're on the one minute past twelve. Let's go and speak to uh, an old friend of ours. Mike Packer Ben. Yes, mate. How are you doing? Sat on my phone. Sat on your phone. I wonder what that was up my bum cheeks. <laughs> What's up? Um, are you ready to go to Horden? I am indeed. Got my ticket. You've got your ticket already? <laughs> I just spoke to the lady behind the counter. I said, have you ever been to Horden? Well, she you went, had two no. tickets. I said, do you ever want to go? She went, eh, no. Then why are we going? Ben's got an interesting fact about where, you, where are we going? We're going to Horden. We're going to Horden. Tell me an interesting fact about Horden. Horden is Anglo-Saxon for dirty farm. Uh, farm. It's true, actually. We were looking on Wikipedia earlier, where Ben gets all his knowledge from, and it said that Horden, the town we're going to, actually means, in Anglo-Saxon language, dirty farm. Let's go and see how dirty it is. Hopefully filthy, in every sense of the word. Come on. Doesn't get any more creepier. <laughs> Thank you. That is a man with a Newcastle accent. In this area, you have a lot of different accents. Newcastle, Sunderland, Middlesbrough. I can't tell the difference between them. But if you're a local, you can say he's from that place, he's from that place. Anyway, let's have a little look around Horden, see what it's like around it. He said he can't tell the difference between them, but he knew that was a Newcastle accent. What is it like around here? I'm not doing it. Awful. Oh. <laughs> Well, oh really? Is that bad? Oh, don't say that to me. I've come all the way from the south to see your lovely village. You're, you're an idiot. <laughs> Is it that? It can't be that bad. I'm carrying my boot, mate. Where yeah. I'm <laughs> so funny. Has someone think? stolen your shoe? No, look at the state of this. This is how they live in Horden. <laughs> look at this, the poor people of Horden. There you go. <laughs> well, such. <laughs> What's she do?
She wants to twist her ankle or something. The whole bottom of the shoe came off. Uh. Charity campaign for him. <laughs> Crikey. You see his dry glue and shoe inside. All right, then. Is it safe at least? No. No. Derelict. 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 Well, you see terrace houses like this built in the 1800s all over the north of England. They were built for the miners and the workers that came to these little pit towns. To Looked like Benefit Street. To work here. Unfortunately, many of them now are in conditions like this, look. Derelict. When the mines were closed down by Margaret Thatcher in the 1980s, after they crushed the unions, people left little towns like this. And so some of the houses ended up like that. But um, yeah. It's a typical little village, little mining village in the north of England. I don't know, man. This vibe is getting kind of crazy. I, it be your own people. I mean, that's what I be saying. Like, he been all over the world, been cool. Now he come to a video at the crib. Like, it be like, see, this is this is too sketchy for me, huh? Hello, mate. How you doing? How you good? Taking it down? Kind of. Yeah? Just sort of structurally making it a bit safer. Flipping it, it's probably been there for 200 years, isn't it? Indeed. Is it your house? Renting. Is that right, yeah? But you're not local. Or your accent doesn't sound very local. No, no, um, down south, um, Guildford, near Farnham. Or yeah, Farnham, I know. I'm from the south myself, but what yeah. made you move to Haunton, if I can ask you? Don't ask. I have no idea. <laughs> One of life's mysteries. Yeah. Do you well, regret it? Cost. The person that he's seen before this looks very sketchy. It's so much cheaper, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, down south, you're not getting a house for less than 250, probably. And here, I don't know how much the houses Four. are, but... Four a month. 400. 400, yeah? yeah. 400 Is there no work month? here in the area at all? No. What do people do? Do they go to the other big cities? Like, do they go to Sunderland for work or...? Probably unemployed. Right, is it like that, is it? Yeah. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. I mean, luckily, I'm signed up for mental health, so... Okay. As you can tell. I must be fucking insane. You must be mad to be trying this project. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a man who's moved up here from the south because it's cheaper to live here. He's renting his place much, much cheaper than he would do if he was down south. And Is he walking in the middle of the street? So, um, yeah, some people move up to these little villages. I'm tempted myself. Buy a house here for 10 grand. Come on, one of them. Each one's brand new. I've got a few. Got loads of different ones. Got the Benz one. Got pink ones as well. Get one's for uh, computers as well. Nah, I'm right. Anybody yeah? Yeah. Cheers, mate. Do you cheap? What's up? Is the town centre up this way, my love? Yeah. Thank you. Anything up there? <laughs> no? No? Nothing? Yeah. Flipping heck. <laughs> Nothing here. Everything's closed down. And we just met a shoplifter who was trying to sell some headphones on the street. <laughs> People are trying to make a way. A booster. Or trying to survive on the streets of Horndon, including to going to the local big city, nicking some stuff from a shop, coming down near to their village, and selling it on the street. He was literally going door to door, knocking on doors, trying to sell his headphones. Well, look, the streets here don't seem to have very Romantic sounding names. Seven. No, Krasnaya Army Ulitsa here, but seven. This building is looking mighty uh, derelict. Seventh Street, below it is Sixth Street, Fifth Street, and so on. And it seems the higher up we go, the worse the houses get. Look. This reminds me, of, it looked like Baltimore. Everything's abandoned, but imagine living in this house, say. To all intents and purposes, a normal house, maybe with just regular family working jobs. But next to them, or surrounding them, are all these abandoned houses. Oh, you're literally like six people on this block. Shut this looks like a movie set. Like it's just border. This is a dying town of the northeast. Doesn't even look real. Horndon is never coming back. It's never going to revive its glory days. There's no work in the areas. The pits will never be reopened. This is it. Today is as good as it will ever get from this village. And that's sad to see. Look at this, what they've done here to smarten up the streets of abandoned buildings. Over there, you can see that house obviously abandoned, number 66. And here's abandoned too, and I thought actually it was some blinds in a window, but it's not, it's a picture of blinds in a window. <laughs> and look at this, it's not a real door. That is insane. It's a picture of a door. It looked like it really, ah, they trying to make the block look more welcoming. 
I suppose the council look wants real. to kind of make the place look a bit better and more up here. Look up here. This is so freaky. I'm t I just said this. It, the block don't even look real. It looks like a movie set. The council, I suppose. You're literally the only person on this in a two mile radius. Just to make the place look better, I've put these fake windows and fake doors on the building. You're in a simulation. Dings. So it doesn't look totally fucking derelict and abandoned. Look at this. This is a simulation. Even the back windows too? That's not a curtain. That's a picture of a curtain. That's crazy. Derelict. They stole your bike? They stole my bike. Well, literally, they, they took all the ignition off it so that I couldn't ride it. Right. And then there were four attempts to take that, and on the fifth attempt, they took it. And then I've got another one, and we've got, yeah, five attempts on that bike. Take it inside. But I put all sorts of motion sensors and little things. What about burglaries? Anyone tried burgling you? Um, I've had the doors banged a oh few times. Oh, my God. Girl over there got attacked. Oh, my God. It's really not a nice area. Bro, this, that, that, I'm not even gonna lie, that's crazy. The little pictures as wall, like pictures as frames, and that's crazy. Look at this, this old at row of shops. Greg's. Now a Greg's, a phone book, a boxing club. Oh, that's interesting. A boxing club, and obviously a vape shop. Sorry, my love, sorry. What I've noticed on this trip across Britain is, or across England is, we love to vape. I've never been anywhere in the world where we love vaping so much. America loves it. And check it out. It's honestly disgusting. The biggest puff disposable, 2,400 puffs. What a place. And a Greg's, of course. In Britain, everywhere you go, there's a Greg's. And that is the Horndon Greg's. Check it out. You had a sausage roll? Yep, good. What if I go up here? Is there anything up here that's decent to check out? Oh, the park. The park? park. Oh, okay. Oh, oh Sainsbury's. Yeah? Oh, there we go. We've got yeah. a park. Why are you running this place down? You've got a lovely park. We've got the beach. The beach? Yeah, we've got the beach. Okay, I'll be down there later. Thank you very much. Watch out for shoplifters. I do. Okay, good. <laughs> she does look like she does an excellent job at her job. Right. Well, yes, it is a nice park here. Let's go and see what that's like. Check out the park of Horndon. What is it called, Horndon? Horned in. I don't know. Well, we're in Memorial Park here, in the very centre of Horden. This looks sad. Memorial dedicated to the men of this village, from these little terrace houses all around us, who went off to war to fight the nation's battles on the continent. Many of them... I'm pretty sure the people of Derelict find a way to have a good time with, with the other people in Derelict. Didn't return. And they went off thinking that the deal was if they would sacrifice themselves, that in return their kids, and their grandkids, would be guaranteed jobs for life down the mines. However, that's not what happened. They returned, and instead the government closed the mines, put their kids out of work, and destroyed the village. What a way to thank our soldiers. Well, I've been told that down the road is some kind of working man's club, which is a place that people go and have a pint in the afternoon. Let's go and see what a working man's club is like here in the village of... Should be cool. Horden. See if the locals are friendly or not. Horden Victory Club. That's a bar? This must be it. Oh, it. Oh, I put them on this. Oh, I found it. Oh, Benjamin. How have you found this place? Welcome to Gordon's Grave. What was that show that we used to watch where dude was in the wheelchair? And the bouncers, they had the bouncers. And they took over that place and they had a stage and the horse was in there before. Golden, what show was that? That's what this reminds me of. 
It's pub mate. What? With my new friends. All our new friends in Horden. Who knew it was such a friendly village full of lovely people? Let's have a drink. We need to start watching that again. What if I, what's the name of the show? Somebody you know. I mean the lovely people who've come out to play some bingo on a Wednesday and have a drink. Tuesday. Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday, 2 p.m. I've had too much to drink, obviously. Anyway, let's play some bingo, which is a traditional English game. How you been? How you been? How you been? How you been? Ben, it's that one, love. I'm ready. Bingo sounds fun. To win some money. That one. Seven and nine. 79. Oh, I've got 79. Calm down, mate. Oh, he's got 79. I'm excited. I'm excited. Four and two. 42. I've got 42. I've got them all. Three and six. 36. Oh, you better three that in a row. One and five. Yeah. Oh, bloody hell. What? Somebody won? I've never won bingo. I've always like been the disruptive one to say bingo. And then go up there and not have bingo, like that's that's the type of energy that I was bringing to the bingo tables and things of that nature. Oh, we got a winner. We got a chicken dinner. Three. How close were you? You only needed one. I was sweating. How much would you have won if you got that? Ninety pounds. Someone's just won ninety pounds, which is a lot of money around here. And Duran, that's a lot of money. 90 pounds could probably feed you for two, three weeks. Oh, oh it's for you, Jimmy Somerville. Jimmy Somerville? Jimmy Somerville. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all wig. <laughs> Time, man. All right, no pressure. Well, we're back on the railway station platform here in lovely little Horden. It just goes to show you about the Brits. You can take away their jobs, their futures, their prospects. You can destroy their villages, but they still know how to have a good old time. Benjamin. Yes. What did you think of the village of Horden? Horden, great place and a very rudite people. <laughs> <laughs> That's his new word. I think he means erudite. But anyway, we'll go with that. Um, yeah, let's jump on a train, get out of here, and see if we go somewhere else. Bye-bye from the little village of Horden. And from Backpacker Ben, the most erudite man in all of England. To be continued when it warms up a bit. It's about to be warm soon. It's about springtime, ain't it? See hello, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notes. I can't, when I get in there, I'm finna, I'm finna, I'm, I'm gonna do some tours and things of that nature myself. See what's going on. I'm gone.